Hey everyone and welcome back to Out of Here Baseball. In this video, we'll be looking at the Dick Hauser Trophy winners from the 2010s and what happened to their careers. The Dick Hauser Trophy is awarded annually to the best collegiate baseball player as voted upon by the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association. If you don't know who Dick Hauser is, he was a former MLB player and manager, best known as the manager of the Royals in the 80s, who passed away due to brain cancer in 1987. The award was established that year and is seen as the baseball equivalent of college football's Heisman Trophy. With Adley Rutschman recently announced as the 2019 winner, let's look at what happened to the careers of all the winners from this past decade. Beginning with the most recent winner, it's Adley Rutschman of Oregon State. Rutschman was talked about a lot after his monster 2018 season for Oregon State, where the catcher had an on-base percentage of over 500 to go along with considerable power. As long as he could put up similar numbers his junior season, he would go number one overall in the draft. Well, Rutschman exceeded expectations and hit 17 homers while walking 76 times to just 38 strikeouts, which is exactly a 2 to 1 ratio. He was selected first overall by the Orioles in the 2019 draft and should become their franchise catcher. 2018's winner was Brady Singer of Florida. Singer won a national title with Florida as a sophomore before winning the Dick Hauser Trophy the next year with a 2.55 ERA and over 100 strikeouts. He went 18th overall in the draft to the Royals, where he is currently in Double A as the Royals' top prospect. Singer has pitched well so far in the minors, but may be best known for paying off his parents' debt with a signing bonus in a viral video. Brendan McKay of Louisville was the winner in 2017. McKay was the best two-way player in college all three years he played, combining strong hitting as a first baseman and standing out on the mound. The lefty was drafted fourth overall to the Rays, with the intention of keeping him a two-way player. McKay has been lights out on the mound in the minors, with an ERA under two in over 150 innings. His hitting hasn't translated as well so far, but McKay should at least be a solid pitcher for the Rays by the 2020 season. The 2016 winner was Seth Beer of Clemson. Beer was the first ever freshman to win the Dick Hauser Trophy, hitting 18 home runs and recording a ridiculous slugging percentage of 700. He continued to hit well in his next two seasons before going 28th overall in the 2018 draft to the Astros. Beer isn't the most athletic player, and there were concerns about his swing prior to being drafted, but he's quickly climbed through the minor leagues and hit well at every level. He is currently at AA and should at least be a DH at the big league level. Andrew Benintendi of Arkansas took home the award in 2015. Benintendi hit just one home run his freshman season, but the next year he would hit 20 and steal 24 bases on his way to an award-winning 2015 season. Taken 7th overall by the Red Sox that year, he was in the majors by August of 2016 and has been the starting left fielder for Boston ever since. Benintendi has been an above-average hitter with a strong all-around game in the big leagues so far, and should continue to develop as he's still just 24 years old. A.J. Reed of Kentucky was the 2014 winner. Reed was a two-way star for Kentucky, leading the nation in homers with 23 in 2014, while winning 12 games on the mound. The Astros selected him in the second round of the draft, intending to use him as a first baseman. Reed is it well in the minors, finishing with at least 25 homers and 100 RBI in three seasons, but hasn't had much of an opportunity to play at the big league level. He currently has 150 plate appearances in the majors, with just nine of those coming after 2016. Chris Bryan of San Diego took home 2013 honors. Bryan's collegiate career was best remembered for his ridiculous home run hitting ability, tallying 31 long balls in his 2013 season. His power got him drafted second overall that year to the Cubs, and he's been a star ever since. Rookie of the Year, MVP, World Series winner, and still just 27 years old. Out of the players on this list, Bryant has had the most accomplished career to this point. The 2012 winner was Mike Zanino of Florida. Zanino was a power hitting catcher who defended well while at Florida. His strong tool set at a demanding position led to a third overall selection by the Mariners in 2012 and he made it to the majors a year later. While still a good defensive catcher, Zanino's hitting ability hasn't shown up consistently in the majors. He has hit 20 home runs in a season three times, but doesn't get on base nearly enough. He currently plays for the Tampa Bay Rays, who acquired him via trade after the 2018 season. Taylor Youngman of Texas was the 2011 winner. Youngman recorded ERAs of two, 203, and 160 in his three collegiate seasons, 
and the Brewers took him 14th overall in 2011, hoping he'd be their ace of the future. It didn't quite work out. Youngman wasn't all that bad in the minors, but he walked a lot of batters. He debuted in the majors in 2015 and recorded a decent 3.77 ERA over 21 starts, but followed that up with an ERA close to 8 the next year and a small amount of innings. Youngman has been playing with the Yomiuri Giants in Japan since 2018. And now for the 2010 winner, it's Anthony Rendon of Rice University. Rendon was Baseball America's Freshman of the Year in 2009 and followed that up with a sophomore season in which he hit 26 home runs and struck out just 22 times. After his junior season, Rendon was selected 6th overall by the Nationals and was in the majors by 2013. He's been overshadowed at third base by a handful of other stars at the position, and overshadowed on his own team by flashier players. But quietly, Rendon has been an all-star caliber player the past few seasons, and so far in 2019, he's having his best season yet. So that concludes our video on what happened to the Dick Hauser Trophy winners of the 2010s. Who do you think will end up having the best career out of all these players? Leave your answer in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay notified on all the latest out of here baseball content. Thanks for watching.